Hello guys, welcome to my uh, second video on uh, quadcopter uh, build and uh, or hexcopter. I'm going to talk first about landing gear. I've, I've done some research on the internet and it took me a while to find something that was not very expensive like made of carbon fiber, uh, like in excess of uh, $100. So I found this landing gear uh, on eBay and I paid $30 for it. It's uh, it's quite, a, quite nice actually. I bought from, from a Flying XYX, it's a site in, in China. Um, it's uh, quite light, it's big enough for a quad for a 450 size or an hex like a 550. For its size, it's also not too heavy, like if I put it on my scale here, it is 280 grams. So it's not bad. It has two plates in the front and the back, so you can put equipment on there, like your um, FPV uh, camera. So it's actually not bad. So this is for the landing gear. The uh, gimbal. I got my gimbal from China, from Good Luck Buy. And the reason was, that's the only place where I could find a decent gimbal for a decent price. So this was $75. It has the control board uh, for the price. It's designed for a GoPro, so it's a little overkill for a Mobius camera. And even for a GoPro, it's like the, uh, it's too it's a bit too heavy. But it works fine. I'm going to do a video I think separate on uh, how to use this. And uh, so it's weight like I said, it's a bit on the heavy side. It's 175 grams, so it's a little, it's a little heavy, but works well. For the uh, camera, I can't afford a um, GoPro for now, so I went for a Mobius camera. Look at the size of this uh, camera. It's amazing. It's very small. I was expecting something bigger. Uh, the lens is good, takes very good videos, only three buttons. Unlike the GoPro, there is no display. So you have to connect this to the computer to see the parameters the, and the settings. Um, software is free. The weight of this thing is 38 grams, very, very light. And I uh, bought that from goodluckbuy.com in China. The, there are a few, only a few sites where you can find this. And I could not find it in North America uh, for now. I'm sure it will be available eventually. I'll do a video of that camera alone. For the LEDs, because I like to have LEDs for directions on my, on my quad. So the best set I have seen is sold by uh, multirotorcanada.ca. They're in Toronto. You can choose the color you want per R, so you could choose like blue, I think they have green also. I went with red and white, so I have four. But they also send you the right cable, which is important. So when you build your quad, you won't be stuck with, oh, uh, what cable am I supposed to use? So it's a balance, balance uh, charge cable connector. And with these, uh, I forgot the name, uh, GST, I think, for these, for the LEDs. So I have four. If you buy the set for a hex uh, copter, you get the cable with six connectors for your six LEDs strips. I want also to comment on batteries because I bought my first battery for that big helicopter over there. It's a 460, uh, 450, sorry. It's the uh, clone of the um, Align, the T-Rex 450. So this is the EXI. So I bought two batteries two years ago. I bought a blue LiPo 30C. They don't give the maximum here. It's a 2200, but they don't give the max C discharge. And you can't find this anymore. I don't know why. I got that from hobbyparts.com or xle.com. It's the same owner. But I don't, you can't see those anymore. But you can still see the Sky LiPo. This one is a 30C continuous and 60C burst. Uh, just to show you the weight. I want to comment on the weight later. The weight of that battery is almost 200 grams, 196. And I got just last week 
uh, Turnigy Nanotech, the famous nanotech. I'm glad to see on the label that they went away with all the zeros. Now they call it 2.2. Uh, that's better. Why not wire 2200? It's like 2.2 is fine and the weight is 189 so it's a bit lighter than the Sky Lipo. So amazing battery. I said in my first video that you can judge the quality of a product by its lab label and believe me it's important. I mean look at expensive cars, the BMW, nice logo, nicely placed on the car, the same with Mercedes-Benz. The sticker is straight, nice sticker, the shrink wrap is perfect, cables are perfect, I'm very very happy with this, with this battery. And I did a test when I got it, I did a test to see the balance and I was getting almost exactly the same voltage on each of the three cells. So very very impressed, very happy with this. Two or three years ago when I got my first two batteries here, people were saying you should not exceed 1C when you charge. So basically here you charge at the maximum, uh, maximum amps of 2.2 amps max, 1C. A year later, that would be like uh, maybe two years ago, they would say 2C, oh you can go up to 2C now. And I thought up to a few, like a couple of months ago, this was now the standard among RC people. I'm also a racer, so I race cars. Uh, but if you look at the back, and again, I just saw that last week. They don't see that up on the website, I think, on the Hobby King website. The back says, I don't know if you can read that, maximum charge 8C. That's amazing. 8 times 2.2 is 17.6 amps. I mean, most people can charge that. Like in houses, the breakers will, will will switch off at 15 amps, 20 if you are in the kitchen, uh, at least here in Canada, 20 amps in the kitchen. So unless you have a special charger, you can't charge at 8C anyway. But uh, to keep this battery for a long time, I don't think I'm going to charge at 8C. I'll just charge at 2C, I think, like I used to do in the past. So this is for the, uh, my second video. Like I said, I'll do a third video on the gimbal only so that you can see the camera in action and it works quite well and I'll post the video of my of, of my video with my camera on YouTube also. There is one thing I forgot to mention in my first video about the motors. One of the best service I got out of China is when I bought these motors from HiModel.com. It's H-I-M-O-D-E-L, HiModel.com. Very good service. They ship within half a day which is amazing. When I tried to buy from Hobby King, I think it, it took them five days to ship my stuff. So you have to wait for five days before they even ship it. So I was a bit disappointed with Hobby King. But uh, overall, I was, I was happy to buy locally. I bought from a, a couple of websites in the US, VV Buy. I bought a few things uh, from these guys. They were, they were very good. And like I said in my previous email, I got uh, my stuff from uh, radflight.com in Edmonton and um, multirotorcanada.ca. One thing also I'd like to mention, because I just mentioned the gimbal, you absolutely need to balance the weight. Like as you can see right now, it is absolutely not balanced. And with the Mobius camera, it will not balance correctly because the Mobius is too light. So I used to buy my weight from my IRC cars from Associated in the US, but I found a better quality supplier actually. The, these weights are amazing. Uh, the finish is great. They come on a double-sided um, rubber uh, sticker. This strip here is 60 grams. So if I put it on my weight scale, 60, exactly 60. Very precise, so I'm very happy. I bought these from, uh, let me tell you, from um, Fancy That 8532. It's a uh, UK seller uh, in the UK. So very, very good quality. I'm happy with that. So thank you for watching. And my third video, like I said, will be about the Mobius uh, camera installed in the gimbal.